So welcome back to Sokro Viano North. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on Wikipedia and double check, make sure you spelled that right. <laughs> now that we've uh, stamina killed the end, we get his special Mosin Nagant. Perfect. It's the Trank Sniper of the game. And then uh, we're going to spend about $600 to try and accurize it. We're going <laughs> to change out the wood stock for a plastic archangel stock. Yeah. Also, I'm just going to kill this goat because I can't... I don't know. Maybe it'll make good food or maybe it'll be good bait. Who knows? It was named after you. Why are you such a dick? Um, to explain, Markor in another language... Was it Russian? Uh, no, I think it was, um, uh, uh, uh I've forgotten. Uh, uh, I well, want to, I want to say, like, Arabic, but I know that's not right. Well, whatever language it is, uh, it translates to Snake Eater in English. And you killed it. Yep. I mean, you didn't even say it's right. Like, you just went off and blasted it. Speaking of blasting things... Let's go hunting. <laughs> wow. No better way to go hunting than just lob grenades, right? If you really want to know how bat meat tastes like. <laughs> I believe it tastes poor. Also, oh, this, this is a really so, long ladder. There's so little of it. There's also a spider on this wall that I'm just going to punch. Uh, good. I hate spiders. <laughs> okay, so this is actually one of the hardest bosses in the game. So to prepare, we're gonna equip all the heaviest things we've got. Oh boy. I see we've got, what, 28.6 kilos? Uh, we're gonna have like maybe 30, 40 by the end of this? We're also gonna, um, get rid completely get rid of all of our camo. Are you I mean, ready? Are, are we allowed to show this on YouTube? Well, we will be. I mean, it doesn't look that tough. Oh, believe me. Look at how fast that stamina is going. It's going at a good pace. Seems to be okay. I'm going to make it through in one set, in one climb, without stopping at all, and hopefully our lack of stamina won't make Snake just lose his grip and fall to his death. <laughs> Wait, so if you stop, you regain stamina? Uh, I don't think you do on the ladder, actually. Yeah, because I was going to say, that's kind of... Like, or really at big, all. It's a pretty big cop-out. There is a really fast way of regaining stamina that I, um, I'll i show off later in this update, either mm -hmm. this video or the next one, that I was completely not expecting to get at all. <laughs> Don't you just wish you had, like, L2 to make her whisper a snake eater? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can have Snake's stomach growl. Does that count? Eh, I mean, that's good commentary. <laughs> I think uh, I think you'll note that the stomach growl is a modern expression on the difficulties of this boss. You know, I wonder if anybody hates actually hates this boss because of like if they have vertigo. Oh, that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm, I have the the uh, normal snake eater camera right now, and it, you can just see that it's a really long drop. Well, I mean, it's a huge drop, but I guess you know it's not that tough if you just like look away from the screen. But at the same time, you know, that's yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, we survived, so let's jump down. Now, you say you say this is a boss, you know, and we clearly, uh, we've reached the top, you know, we've defeated the boss. Uh, is the ladder going to explode now? <laughs> as soon as we leave, it's going to blow. <laughs> What's the emotion that the ladder brings? Uh, impatience. Impatience? Really? The ladder? I would have thought, like, stoicism. So like it, never, it, could be it, never, it could go either way, honestly. I mean, just look at its surroundings. It's clearly stone-faced. Yeah. Anyway, we have no stamina, so look at how woozy our aim is. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. 
Now we'll get okay. it with the animal camo. Perfectly uh, stable. Yeah, like, well, I mean, it looks like he's moving a little bit. But... It's not that much compared to, in comparison. Oh, yeah, no, no, definitely worlds apart. Also, the animal's camo is actually the best camo for this, um, the mountain, so we're going to keep this for most of the update. <laughs> also, face camo doesn't really have much of an effect, so um, I hope you enjoyed the, the national flag of France. Awesome. So there's a bunch of guys here in this mountain range, and uh, those snakes are poisonous, so I'm not going to take any chances with that one. You're not even going to take any chances and eat it? I think I'm full on food, uh -huh. well with my, my recent hunt. Well, I mean, you can get rid of a bat. I could. There's also, um, there are also scorpions on this mountain range, and you gotta be really careful that you don't accidentally, like, crawl over one. Because hmm. they do sting. You know, surprisingly, I'm noticing there's a lot of detail in the feet. <laughs> and, like, how they move. No, seriously, it's kind of, it's not something that, you know, you see what? a lot. Like, snake's feet? Yeah, like, the fact that he crawls and the feet, like, actually bend. Yeah, it, it's it's cool. Huh? Also, I messed up the throw there. <laughs> Goodbye, Cobra. Snake. Do you think he speaks parcel tongue? Um, I don't know. <laughs> or, or do you think that would get him sued? <laughs> Okay, that throw sucked. I am really bad at throwing food, if you haven't noticed. It's fine, you know, pressure sensitive buttons. Makes it hard. Speak. I'm trying to be really careful because over in the distance there's um there's a guy up on a, a ledge up there. Mm -hmm. He got a rocket launcher. He's also a radio man. And he's really trigger happy. Freeze. <laughs> You know, so, I would do anything if uh, the face camo that Snake wore actually translated the language of the guards that spoke to him. <laughs> oh man, that would be amazing. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah. Also, this, this snake is an asshole. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I completely forgot I had my suppressors off, so... Now we're in caution mode. That's fine. You're you're trying to lure them past this checkpoint, and they're not gonna notice you. Yeah. Also, that guard I um held up on the ground is just going to stay there until like he's What's like wrong? woken up, and I don't <laughs> want these guys to wake him up. So um. What's wrong? Bombs away. I think uh, I killed that, that snake. <laughs> Yeah, and he didn't really seem to do anything against the guards. Surprisingly, yeah. Go to sleep. That's weird. Did the audio cut out there? That's because of the stun grenade. Oh, okay. Remember, those things huh. can um impair Im eh, impair your hearing. Yeah, they can deafen you for. But I just didn't think it it applied because it seemed like you could hear other stuff fine. Well, that's because normally I hide them in the cardboard box, which shields you from the from the majority of the uh, stun grenade. Well, yeah, no, but it's just like, I thought I heard the guard actually say something. Oh. Well, maybe maybe that's just me, though. Maybe. Uh, one cool thing about stun grenades, like, deafening you is that when they deafen you, like, the subtitles are actually smaller. Oh, that's awesome. And they gradually grow bigger when, as, when your hearing comes back. Also, that's a scorpion. I'm going to take him. He's going to be our friend for a little bit. <laughs> are we going to name him? Um, you want to do the honors? Uh, you know, I kind of want to go with Scorpy, but that's kind of like a really bad cop out. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Steve. Steve okay. the Scorpion. Steve has a very important mission, but I kind of messed up in getting him to his mission, so we're going to try that again very shortly. What's that sound? Go to sleep. You have a rocket launcher too. Well, you know, if you have rocket launchers, you kind of just, you want to hand them out liberally. Yeah. Anyway, uh, guards are just going to keep seeing each other here, and I kind of want to go pick up Steve again. <laughs> so, you go to sleep too. <laughs> they don't stop coming! It's like a conga line. 
of stupidity. I had a different plan for this map, but then that alert happened, so I just had to switch gears, and this was like the fourth time I, tr I recorded this map, so I kind of got tired of it. <laughs> and it sounds like my Ground Zero is experience. <laughs> just, I don't want to really... God, I have to trial this mark everybody? Screw that. I'll go for the elimination. Whatever. Okay, so there's um some ammo in this little uh thing here. I don't know what to call it. Uh, uh, Overhang? Well, I mean it's rocks, so like a rock I uh, probably not the outcropping. Yeah, it's, sure. That is. Whatever. Okay, so that guy hasn't noticed us because we are really well camouflaged here. Yeah, 90. So he's gonna get to play with Steve. Well, we are France animals. <laughs> Here you go. Go get him, Steve. Do be proud. So, um, it's really hard to see on this really low quality uh, encode, but in the final video, like, you will be able to see that he is poison. There, are, there are purple like bubbles popping out of him, <laughs> and now he's dead. I like, that he, I like that he fell forward and then turned on his back. <laughs> also, there are vul vultures on this map. We're not. We. I was. I'm gonna catch one. Uh, but it's gonna be this one. Very meaty sound it makes. Yeah, we'll we'll take a closer look at that in a second. I was trying to get Steve another playmate, but. <laughs> what was that? Pressure look, sensitive controls. Look, Steve's a little tired. He took out one person. Next thing you know, he's gonna get a commendation for metal. Yeah. Promoted so, to corporal. So if you kill dudes on this map, vultures will come and eat them. That looked like a weird vulture. A little. Anyway, I'm am feeling kind of hungry, so let's eat that. Well, right away. I could go for seconds. It was delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna save this other one, uh, for reasons. It'll probably go bad, but, you know, I got reasons. Here's another so, vulture. So if you just, like, raise the body and put it back down and call another vulture? No, they just, they're just attracted to corpses. It just so happened that they would you know, come to the same one? Yeah. Well, this is also the only corpse on the map, so... No, nah, I guess that's true. Also, I'm really sad that this is actually, like, my... Un like uh, fourth attempt at this map because like on my on an earlier attempt that I was gonna use before the file got corrupted like the vulture was just really going at the guy's crotch <laughs> I'm really sad that got corrupted look that spoils first you want to make sure you get a good meat yeah anyway let's go check up on the um oh yeah let's, we're, we're gonna go check up on the guy who got held up he's still um down for the count and, like, and this is where you just, like, dangle Steve right in front of him? Nah. He'll be, he, he gets to live. We're just gonna, um... We're just gonna scare him into giving up his goodies. These goodies... Ugh, man, you can't posture like that. <laughs> this is gross. But yeah. If you want to make... If you want to really disable a guard without, like, tranking them or whatever, just hold them up. Or, sorry, CQC them, throw them down, and hold them up. They'll be out for the count. And they just stay there forever. Yep, until someone comes along, but... You yeah, know. Uh, you could say they're loyal to the end. No? Whatever. I suppose. <laughs> also, why not? Why not? I really don't want to know how I need to pronounce that. <laughs> Okay, so this map is special. Um, do you remember that helicopter from like just before the Ocelot fight? Yep. Well, if we blew it up, uh, then this map would be play a little differently. Because... What do you mean if? You, you did it, didn't you? I... I... Well, clearly not, because there's a helicopter right there. Well, I'm kind of disappointed now. But yeah, uh, if you blew up that helicopter, then... Um, instead of hel a helicopter patrolling this map, it would just be... Uh, those hoverboard dudes. And you skipped out on that? 
I think the I think the helicopters are actually easier to deal with. Well, yeah, I mean, you probably don't move as quite as quickly. Quest. Yeah, like um, the helicopter will just periodically uh go up and down this mountain and. Uh... Is that why everybody has rockets? You know, for rogue helicopter and hover vehicle platform Maybe. Attacks. I mean, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, we're just like causing like rock avalanches, whatever. I mean, the government just gives it us, gives it to us for free. <laughs> that Vulcan yeah. guy's weird. But yeah, um, that helicopter is really bad at trying to see you. Also, there's a scorpion here. You almost stepped on Steve's brother, Scott. I don't like Scott. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what. What did Scott ever do to you? Really? He just poisoned me. Well, I mean, you almost stepped on him. I think it was self-defense. Eh. But yeah, that helicopter has a really hard time trying to see you if you're like 40% camo. Like even if you're just running around. But uh, that. But once you're like in caution or alert, like it, it has a really, e really easy time trying to find you. So, well, it's because he's paying so much attention on the flying. Like he's in a, he's in a canyon. You know, one wrong move, he blows up. I guess. I see what you're doing there, Snake. I'm talking about the one on the ground, not uh, mm -hmm. our friend Naked Snake here. Uh, you're worried that Snake will turn on his Snake brother? Yes. Uh, I mean, Scott turned on us, even though we're friends with uh, his brother Steve. Well, I mean, he didn't get time to properly introduce us yet, really. Yeah, probably. Scott's one of those guys, you know. You gotta, you gotta take him out to a meal before he can really trust you. you know? Uh, I don't have the money for that. All I have are these like. All I've got is a million rubles. Do you think he likes instant noodles? <laughs> But there's no water. I mean, look how dusty this whole place is. Ugh. Is it dust or snow? Because it, there's kind of snow up top there. This is probably dust. It seems so weird to have, you know, like snow on top of mountains and then like dust everywhere. Yeah. So, um, this map is actually really uh, a really good use for the snake eater camera because you can see more. And uh, in some of these little uh, ca outcroppings or caves, like there are little holes you can climb through, but I don't really like using them because then you have a really hard time trying to see like around you. Mm. And, and like if you're if you're out enough that you can see around you, then you're out enough that so they that can see, see you. Yes. Right. Uh, it's best to be cautious because like even if even though there are people on other levels, they still can see you. Like there's a guy right up there, and if I went a little too far up, then he definitely would have caught me. Right, right. It it seems like it's it's kind of all these alcoves and, and secret paths are kind of just something you would use on like a stealth run. Um, I I watched like a speed stealth run and they Did just kind of charge through. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, Steve, you have another mission. Good, he's gonna get promoted to lance corporal. I'll make it any day now. Steve, I'm trusting you with this very important job. Come on, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Steve. Good job, Steve. You did it. He's the best. Around. So, Steve is like Scorpion Eater. Is that, is that going to be his, his code name? Yes. Perfect. I really like that if you throw a live animal at someone and they don't <laughs> kill it, th th you can still like reclaim the animal for yourself. Do they ever like notice and try to kill scorpions, or is that kind of? I don't think so. They will notice snakes though, because you know they kind of constrict them around their neck. <laughs> oh, there's a vulture here for this man. Uh, I'm. I'm curious, um, going back to the helicopters and, and hover platforms, um, do the hover platform guys have better vision than the helicopter? I think they do. I'm not entirely sure, though. Hmm. 
I assume there are more of them. Uh, like, like they pass by more regularly? Probably. Um, as a side note, um, you can actually destroy the helicopter if you, say, use your sniper rifle and shoot out the pilot. Mm -hmm. In which case, the whole thing will just immediately explode. <laughs> if you're a good enough shot, you can shoot the tail, the back rotor, and it will also just spin out of control. That's a, it must be a gruesome way to go. If you do do like destroy the helicopter, though, another one will just show up and take its place immediately. <laughs> even though there was only one helicopter in that base. Not even a memorial service, jeez. <laughs> no, they, they mean business. <laughs> helicopter pilots get screwed over in this game. My god. Yeah, so I'm gonna be nice and leave him alone. Good. I wonder if, like, helicopter pilots ever have, like, parachutes and stuff. Probably. Okay, so... We're at the end of the map. There's a couple goodies here, and three guards. Uh, you say that in a way that implies something's gonna go wrong. Yeah, nothing will go wrong. <laughs> uh, you're not to uh, boost my confidence in any way. Well, I mean, we just got a new toy. Oh boy. Time to find time to, time to find a bunch of explosive barrels and just <laughs> light everything up. You can also use the rocket launcher to uh, destroy the helicopters, but uh, there are some crazy, like, uh, I don't know how to call it. It's like, kind of like bullet drop. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. uh, it, it's, it doesn't fly in a straight line, so... Yeah, no, that's a thing. Yeah, like, it's really hard. It's all about speed, mass, and weight and stuff. Scorpions. Okay, so, like, 90% of the guards on this on these maps will tell you that scorpions have lethal poison. Scorpions. And that's really annoying, because I want to know other stuff. <laughs> like scorpions this. Scorpions have lethal poison, and then you just, like, stab them with the scorpion. Answer me. So that this guy just told us about healing radio, which if we call that frequency, um, our stamina will recover. Does that affect um, your rating? Or I at least I, I assume there's a rating at the end of this game. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think it would. Because like, huh. if you know the frequency, that probably means you're... The game probably thinks you're good enough to... Um, what is it? To Oops. like hold up guards and enough guards to get that information out of them. Right, right. Also, uh, here's a food, here's a, uh, here's a pantry, so you know what we gotta do. Of course, gotta blow it up. Snake was traumatized by pastries as a young child. He can't handle pantries at all. Nope. He is the, um, he's the most extreme example of a hunter there is. <laughs> They wanted to call Snake Eater Cook Eater, but then they figured it probably wouldn't sell as well. Probably not. Yeah. Not that manly of a code name either, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I don't think, you know, cooks are, like, the deadliest of game in, right. in any universe. Okay, so these guards are hungry, so I'm gonna feed... I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to satiate some of their hunger. <laughs> Also, that that vulture was I just threw was rotten because this uh, the last map was recorded maybe a couple days after like the first map two maps. <laughs> I really like how you know real time is affecting food. Yeah, the the food goes bad in like a day. But they're also really hungry because you know you blew up the pantry and then waited a day. <laughs> no, no, the, I just like the pantry like blowing up was in the same session as this map. Hmm. So, these guys are, like, their metabolisms, metabolisms work really fast, I guess, or something. Well, maybe they just had, like, a light breakfast or something. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I left them some rations in there, because I couldn't carry them, but you know. I think you're blaming these rations for perfectly normal problems. Sometimes you just, you know, add on a rush. You, you gotta make it to your patrol duties, and you have a small breakfast. Eh, I guess. 
All right, so there's a lot of these little huts here, and you can crawl through these vents or holes. Air to shafts. Get, to get to the trenches. It's not really that useful, in my opinion. I'm, I mean, the option's there. Also, the helicopter's back in this map, but it's not really that big a deal. I wonder if this trench is up to code. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, Where no one's gonna bite, go for that food, so... Moving on! <laughs> I don't really trust myself with going up that way, so we're just gonna double back and go the high, take the high road. So you're gonna climb up right in front of that guard? Well, he's having stomach ulcer, so he he he'll be busy. He he won't notice us. He's focused on his shoes right now. Leather makes a pretty tasty treat. <laughs> it it'll probably help wash out the rotten. I don't know what I just fed him. Look, just start with the shoelaces, and then if you like it. Finish your meal. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to uh, yeah, uh, gauge whether or not you'll like your meal. <laughs> whether you'll like leather boots. <laughs> also, there's a red door over there that's gonna be very important later. So um, remember that red door. Oh man, is that where we have to take our key? Yes. Nice. Also, steak has a really hard time trying to get up slopes. Apparently. Well, it's because you're not in your cardboard box. That's true, that's true. I bet your cardboard box would blend in, like, super well. It is a pretty good shade of brown. I do like that o Ocelot's uh, animal camo is just cheetah print. <laughs> is it cheetah or leopard? Yes. Probably a leopard. Unless it's, like, a mix? Whatever. Maybe. <laughs> There's probably not too many of these big cats around, so you had to like sew a bunch of different kinds together. Yeah. I don't know, I just look at this and I just think like tacky cheetah print stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no denying that. Yeah. Also, here you go, guy. Have a bird that probably also had the remains of one of your buddies. <laughs> so cruel. And now he can be one with his buddy forever. No, I'm uh, not sorry. Yeah, why are you turning, you know, these perfectly normal guards into cannibals? Because I can. <laughs> it's the French way, damn it. <laughs> Look, I'm a French animal, okay? I do what I need to do. Including blowing up their weapons. They don't need these. No, of course not. I mean, if you're trying to be a pacifist, and kill people with scorpions and tranquilize darts, I think they should be on the same level. Yeah. I mean, what, next thing you know, it's going to be an arms race. It's it's just, they bring a gun, you bring a gun, so on and so forth. Yeah. Also, there was a guard way up there that saw me, and I... Uh... Yeah, I wasn't planning on that, so... <laughs> so you're just going to wait till he gets close and then blow him up with the TNT? I'm gonna be kind to the guards for once. What? Also, there's still guards here, so they would definitely come, go investigate the, the big explosion. Uh, you just need to use Steve. In hindsight, I could have, but <laughs> I didn't want him to come look at me and then realize I was there before he uh, died. Right. Right. Another guy up here. Also, the mountains are probably where I pause the game the most. Uh, well, I mean, it seems like there's... You really have to focus on, you know, getting around and, and not getting spotted. Yeah. So, especially here, like, there seems to be, like, a lot more guards in a more confined space, so to speak. Yeah, no, there are a lot of guards on this one map. Like, I mean, it's a big map, sure, but there are a lot of guards. It's also anyway. kind of strange, because, like, is there much to guard here? Well, there's the way to Groznygrad, I guess. Also, there are, the, uh, there are AA guns here, and um, there was one on the other map, too, and you totally can sit on in them and shoot away. 
it's the best way to take out any vehicle. Yeah. Although it's actually really hard to hit the helicopter with it. Really? I, yeah, I tried it. Like, I could not kill the helicopter. 